In this episode, we are thunderstruck. Join me as I finish up this event live on my last three attacks. Let's get into it right now. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Fitz, and we're back with another episode of Clash of Clans, and in this episode, I am on my Mayhem account, and it's a Town Hall 10, and we're here for the last three raids of this Thunderstruck event for my 200 gems. I'm going to get those trained, get those gems. I've got two Dragon Troops that I need to at least use on the multiplayer event, and so we're going to go in here with a composition of nine Dragons, 12 balloons and then my spells are four lightning a rage a haste and then i've got a stone slammer with seven balloons and a freeze spell and i've already got my other troops cooked up ready to go on the next raid so we're going to go out here we're going to try to find a base and i will be back when i find the next base hang tight guys all right, so now we have a base here. It's got some decent dark elixir. 4,000 is about my limit. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to try to take this queen out along with the AD when I zap these ADs with this lightning spell. And so when she comes in here, I'm going to drop those on her and see if I can take her, at least some of her health down. I got about half of it. That's pretty good. So we're going to go over here to this other AD, and we're going to drop lightning spells on this one. And now we are ready, I believe, yep, those are gone. We're ready to send in my dragon. So I think what I want to do is I want to start in on the side where that queen is so that I can get her out sooner than later. I don't want her really going too crazy on my balloons or dragons. So we're going to funnel these dragons in from either side. Make sure that they trim off the edges. That's something you always want to do, especially with dragons, but with a lot of troops. You just want to go ahead and set a good funnel. So I'm putting my balloons behind the dragons along with the stone slammer. Sometimes that stone slammer is going to slam and crush the walls. It didn't look like it had enough time to, to, to uh, crush the walls before the dragons or loons took out that archer tower. But man, look at how I pulverized the center there. So I'm going to drop my freeze back here, slow down this wizard tower and air defense back there, haste these dragons and loons up here in the core rage these over on the north side of the base kind of northwest and this is going along real well now i well through this base as i should it was a dark base i'm gonna have to pop my queen's ability here get through this cannon and now we are smooth sailing we'll go ahead and just let these troops finish up and let me come home with the win so you know, when uh, what I found, I was playing around with this comp, and I think I was using the stone, the wall wrecker before, and then I thought, you know what, let me try this stone slammer to handle these loons, to help these loons, and it, it's worked out really well. So, there's my, my winnings. I'm going to head back, and we'll find another base, and um, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get into it. Be right back. Oh, wait, you got, you know what, guys? look at this so I had to go and spend some loot I don't know if, if you rewind the video you'll see that I was almost maxed out on my storage so I went ahead and bought some walls so that I could uh, so I could free up some of my loot space I mean who wants to raid and just waste loot if your if your loot if your storages are full you'd run out of loot so we're gonna go out and hit and find the next base and I'll be back when I find it all right, here we go, guys. So we've got another base here. This one's a little bit more Dark Elixir. It's 4,683 Dark Elixir. And look at this, the Expos. They are pointed down. That is a defense's worst nightmare when you have an air attack come at, come at you. So we're going to go ahead and try to snipe out this air defense with the queen in the location of the AD in 3, 2, 1. Am I going to get her? Nope, she walked out of it. That's all right. We'll go over here. We'll get this other AD. I think I'm going to get this one behind the dark elixir storage so that I can take on the ADs up front and just kind of work on those and snipe, take those out quick as quickly as possible. So as before, we're going to go ahead and funnel 
the dragons we're going to send in dragons on either corner so that we can funnel out the side buildings and then send the rest of our drags in here with the balloons the slammer and the heroes behind and let's see what we can do can that slammer have air sweepers not really helping the slammer get to there to crush the walls to get the heroes in so they're going to split on me again probably that's all good we'll go ahead and send these in i'm going to freeze up right here that queen is in that breeze to slow her down and then i'm going to haste and pop my queen's ability and we're going to push a rage in right here in the core just to keep this stuff moving along here right about now there we go all right so that should just about do it and this stone slammer is putting in work guys look at this thing go it's not even busted yet and I don't think it will I'm gonna go ahead and pop our barb here and look at this this is just crazy that stone slammer is so beefy let me zoom in on this thing look at that I mean that is one beefy balloon and keep in mind guys if you do have a slammer or any siege machine that makes it through the um, through the attack it will you will lose the siege machine but you will retain the troops that you had so mainly this is gonna mostly uh, only uh, pertain to this the slammer the other two it's hard not to let your tr troops deploy but uh, but how cool was that so we are back and we are going to go ahead and get the next army trained up so that we're ready and look at my queen she's got like 29 minutes left but see these balloons down here from the slammer those are still there um, so you know because the slammer did not deploy then i kept my balloons but you know what i think because that queen is so long let me check my potions yeah i've got five potions i'm going to go ahead and boost my training so i can get my queen back up quicker and then i will be back when everything's back up all right guys so i'm back and you know i went ahead and i thought i'd just train up queen walk minor because this is my last attack i don't need uh to to i will finish the event after this so i'm training up queen walk minor so i can practice with those and i'll let you know uh when i get when i get that down i may make an episode but i've got one more attack left and we'll be right back All right, guys, so here we go. We've got our next attack, and this is for 5,200 in Dark Elixir, and we are ready to go. Let's see. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to try to hit this. I wanted to try to take out the Air Sweeper and the AD together, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I better focus on this AD alone and not try to take them both out. So we're going to take that AD out. And then we are going to take that AD out. And just like before, we're going to send the dragons in to trim uh, on this side so that we can get the dragons in on those front ADs and take those out. This is this is a fully live base, and it's um, it's certainly not a... Uh, it's more of a 9 than it is a 10. But we're going to go ahead and send in our troops here with the slammer and the heroes. And let's see if we can get this slammer to do work. Boom. I think that slammer broke open the wall for me. Oh, no, it didn't. Maybe my king will go in this time because there's nowhere else for him to go. So they've got to break in. But look at this slammer just put in work on these walls. And he just completely destroys everything. All right. I need to get this rage in. Oh, mortar mauler. So I'm going to drop the rage here and see if we can push these dragons they've done a really good job to staying in the core and that's the reason why you want to get a good funnel so that you can get your troops inside the core and luckily I really needed my heroes in the core this time because if, if they weren't did not go through the core I don't know that I would have won this I don't know that I could I don't know that I could win this raid I mean and I still I think I might triple it yeah, I think I've got it. I didn't even notice those Inferno Towers down there when I was raiding when I initially started on this one. But I think I'm going to be okay. Of course, the Queen won't go after the Archer Tower. She's going after the gold. Can she get this Archer Tower? 
Oh, that was clutch. That was clutch. She got it. So there's four dragons left and a balloon. And that is a three star for the good guys. So there you have it, guys. We are should be completed. We got a lot of gold that's or a lot of the dark elixir. We got 5,700 dark elixir, 58. And there you go. Got 200 gems for and 400 XP. And I got the mortar mauler achievement. So we'll go ahead and we will get these gems as well. That's 20 gems for the mortar mauler for destroying 5,000 mortars in multiplayer battles. So we got those. And there you go, guys. We are going to work on this miner, and as soon as uh, as I get better with the, the Queen Walk Miner, I'll probably put together an episode so that you guys can see uh, that the Queen Walk Miner at Town Hall 10. It's a very effective strategy. I've used it a time or two in war, but I am not proficient with it, so I, want, I do want to get better with it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed these live attacks, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.